This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm reviewing the Superior Spider Man number four. Okay, so Otto Octavius, um, you know, he's developing a new life in San Francisco, uh, and he basically just defeated Terax the Tamer. Uh, he's broken, has a broken arm, and everything, but um, he has to get some convincing to go back out and have it be a decent human being and, and save the rest of the people. Uh, you know, he's still kind of arrogant, egotistical, and he's not quite... It seems to me like he's losing the memories of, like, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and just his he's, his main personality is taken over. Like, but he's still... He's still a jerk. He still has an ego. and But he does want to be a hero. So, um... Um, was it Anna Marie, I believe her name is? She, you know, she wants to instill with him the good qualities. Um, Anna Marie, is it Anna Marie? I think it's, uh, Anna Marie. All right, well, anyway, um, so she tells him to put the suit on and go save people. Uh, and then he realizes that the supervillains that he has under his employ, some of them are like serial killers and stuff. So he freaks out when he sent the serial killer to save a child. And then he winds up killing the serial killer, supervillain. Um, but he, she's trying to in, in, imbue in him a conscience, like, you know, that you need to get to know these people that you're saving. You know, you want to be a hero, you want to be superior in every way, but you need to get to know these people and realize that everybody's special. Everybody has that, that quality that makes them unique. And everybody, even though they're not, they don't share the same intellect as him or the money, uh, they do the best they can with what they have. So... You know, that's all nice and good. Of course, in reality, that's not always the case with some people. But um, it was a good issue. Um, but the thing is, though, I'm wondering how long could this continue this way? Because, you know, eventually they, they keep getting it wrong calling him Spider-Man. And he's like superior Spider-Man. But, like, I don't think they understand that, like, there's multiple Spider-Mans running around. You know what I'm saying? And I think eventually that's going to... That's gonna, be a thing where they, he has to change his name, all of them, because maybe just call him superior or something, because, you know, it's going to, what if he kills somebody? Then he's going to go on trial for murder, and what are they going to do? They're going to grip every Spider-Man there is? This is the thing. It's like too many titles with too many people playing the same role is going to be, it's it's very confusing. And I know Marvel has this thing where they want to show anybody could be a hero, even a villain, and all this other stuff. Like, it doesn't always work that way. I mean, this the thing with Superior, I liked it for when it was around, and then it ended. But then Marvel didn't want to let go, and they wanted to continue it, kind of. So, while it is enjoyable, it's not sustainable. It can't, it can't remain too long out there. I mean, maybe a year, I think. But I think the problem is, is that all these stupid storylines that they're going to have, like the War of the Realms, is going to take away from the uniqueness of the book. It's going to take away from the character of Otto Octavia. It's going to take away from his journey as a human being in San Francisco, being a hero, trying to be a good guy rather than a villain. But now you're going to throw all this other nonsense in the mix of, of Norse gods, gods and Asgard and elves. And it's just, some of that stuff is ridiculous. And that's another video entirely. But anyway, I did enjoy Superior Spider-Man number four. Great issue. Um, but I, would, I can't wait for when Peter Parker has to show up. And they have a battle. Because that's what I'm looking forward to. Either that or him confronting Venom or like Miles Morales. Because even Miles Morales, before Bendis left, they made it like they were going to change the name of Miles Morales and not be Spider-Man. But then they changed that idea. So I just can't see everybody being called Spider-Man. So that's my take. All right, guys. Take care. Bye for now.